Now, Chinese retail supermarket chain China Square Limited has announced temporary closure of its retail shop situated at the Kenyatta University's Uni City Mall on Sunday, the 26th of February 2023. The announcement by the Chinese-owned retail shop comes a day after Trade Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria proposed to Kenyatta University Vice Chancellor Professor Paul Wainaina to buy out the lease for China Square at Uni City Mall and hand it over to traders from Gikomba, Nyamakima, Mudurwa and Isli. And as Seth Olale reports, the CS's proposals do not seem to be enjoyed and get the backing of most of the consumers that we spoke to. Take a look. Motorists here face a parking nightmare, both inside and outside China Square. Some use PSVs and border border to get to the mall. Those who live nearby opt to walk. Inside the outlet, long queues of shoppers wait for their turn to pay for their items. It is a scramble for many to get what they want before whatever it is runs out. Household items are in high demand. Some stocks cleared two hours after opening. China Square's management has announced that it will shut the business on Sunday to re-evaluate and replan company strategy in order to serve customers and meet their needs. It will also consider the possibility of cooperating with local traders to enhance its offering and better integrate with the community. On Friday, Trade Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria sought to buy out China Square lease at Kenyatta University's Uni City Mall and hand it over to traders from Gikomba, Nyamakima, Mudurwa and Isli Traders Association. Until Saturday evening, shoppers were busy securing items at China Square. The outlet's statement indicates that it will reopen on Monday.